Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Platinum. Now the most notable features on this Platinum is its kick assist, power liftgate, you also have your parking sensors and your 360 degree backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Platinum. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Platinum model is its daytime running lights, you also have your fog lamps, and then taking a closer look just at your front grille, you're going to see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera, along with your parking sensors, and then over on the side you'll find your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now taking a look on your mirrors, you're going to see your down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for your 360 degree back camera along with your integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, vortex generators. And taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that, you're, sorry, that there is a uh, vehicle in your blind spot. And one of the nice things with this uh, Platinum is it does have the smart key system with it as well. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now, you also have the lock on the back uh, set of doors as well, so push on the two little lines you see there on the handle, and if you want to open up the side doors here, you can actually do so as well. Now, up top you'll find your roof rack, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls with your lane departure alert, heated steering wheel, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you're going to see seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, along with your window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now, a couple of the controls that you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, Bluetooth, mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display, and then you also have your cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start off for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display, you have an exterior temperature gauge, as well as your trip info, distance to empty eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning. And then scrolling over, you can see your navigation, as well as your audio, lane departure alert, messages, and then you also have your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, and your parking sensors on and off as well and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here which include your hazard lights, your traction control on and off in that far right hand corner, and taking a look here as well inside the apps menu you'll find your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You also have the dual zone climate control settings, premium JBL sound system, Located down below, you will see your Eco and Sport mode, along with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, window wiper de-ice, your USB and auxiliary, and your two power outlets. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission. At the very top, you'll find your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top, you will find your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what your 360 degree backup camera is going to look like. So when you actually put it into reverse, as you can see, you have that nice aerial view of the vehicle and you also have the guiding lines on here as well. Now if you don't really like the aerial uh, view of the vehicle there, you can actually switch up to a more dynamic view of the uh, with the backup camera or more of a traditional look for yourself. You can also change up the line segments just to make things a lot easier for yourself as well. And if you want, you can actually close in on one of the corners of the vehicle there for the 360 degree backup camera just to see what exactly is in the way of uh, your vehicle if you're uh, driving into the driveway or if you're pulling out of the driveway and you're uh, seeing a couple of your kids' uh, toys just on the uh, driveway there. Now the other nice thing with this as well is that when you put it into drive, you can actually have that front view as well. So using the button that you see at the very top there right beside your tra uh, hazard light, sorry, 
you can actually see the nice uh, front view of the vehicle here. Now, the nice thing with that is you also have the guiding lines on here as well. So if you're in a parkade or in a tight parking lot and you need to see how much room is actually in front of you, instead of having to look over the uh, hood of the car, you can actually take a look at the back, or I should say the front uh, camera, just to see what's actually in the way there, making things much easier for yourself. And then if you want, you can actually keep it on the audio uh, auto view. Sorry. So uh, when you put it into drive, uh, drive, sorry, uh, anything under 10 kilometers an hour, it'll actually stay on until you uh, go a higher speed. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your uh, left-hand side, sorry. And underneath the uh, Toyota emblem, you'll find your rear hatch release. Now, the nice thing with this uh, Platinum model is it does have the kick assist power lift gate. So I'll show you it later on here in the video here, but I'm just going to quickly show you just uh, how much room there is in your rear cargo space. Now, you also have the tonneau cover as well as the cargo net in here. So if you want to cover up your valuables, you can do so with the tonneau cover. And if you have smaller items, you can just place them inside the cargo net. Now, if you do need some additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat as well. And if we take a look underneath the floor, you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and your tool kit. And the nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So if you need it afterwards, just because you're hauling a lot of cargo, you can just take it out underneath the floor afterwards. Now the nice thing, again, with this kick assist power lift gate is if your hands are full of groceries, boxes, and you need to open up the tailgate, all you have to do is just kick underneath the tailgate here, or the bumper I should say, and it will open or close automatically for you. So you just want to make sure you go underneath there. And if you want, you can actually interrupt it just by placing your foot underneath there as well again. So the sensor is just going to be located just underneath your bumper here. So as long as you're kicking towards it there, you can actually open and close the tailgate just by using your foot. And then with this tailgate as well, you can actually readjust the height for yourself. So all you have to do is push on the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the side for you. And if you want to reset the height, just hold down the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the side for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.